Hi guys, it's Multiplexing Gamer here on your tutorial on the price elasticity of demand, commonly referred to as the PED diagram. So what it shows, well the PED is concerned with how responsive a product's demand is to change in its price. Therefore, if it if the PED graph is stretched out, then this suggests that the price is a huge change in demand. So, for example, if you have like an Apple iMac or an Apple iPad or iPhone, if the price goes down by £100, you're probably going to get a huge increase in demand. So, as the second bullet point says, demand for products vary greatly depending on the price. This is usually for luxury products such as innocent smoothies. You go to the supermarket and you see an innocent smoothie, it's £2 cheaper, you're probably going to buy it. But for the third point, it says people will pay higher, f highly for necessities regardless of the price. For example, water. For necessities like water, food, people are going to keep paying that price because they need it to live. Unlike a luxury product, they're going to have to stop buying it if it gets too expensive. Usually these luxury goods as described in the second bullet point usually refers to elastic graphs and the third one which deals with necessities is usually inelastic. So the two graphs. On the left as stated here we have an elastic demand diagram and on the right we have an inelastic demand diagram. The differences between the two is that this is more stretched out like an elastic band and the right one inelastic is more straight. So basically what they refer to is if there's a slight change in price there's going to be a huge change in quantity as again this is usually referred to with luxury products however with the inelastic diagram on the right if there's a small change in price the quantity isn't going to change so if water goes drastically cheap you're not going to buy much more of it but if it goes drastically high you're still going to buy the same amount but just a little bit more so how can we calculate PED? well in your exam they might say there has been a 10% increase in demand for playstations and there has been a 10% decrease in price and basically we're just going to use this formula to derive that PED so it refers to the percentage change in Q this sign being delta over percentage change in price that's the numerator over the denominator um, a quite a cool thing you can do to remember this is Q before you pay, you queue up the Q for quantity before you pay. Thanks for watching this tutorial. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask below.